Hello everyone. Uh, last night, uh, around 11, 11-ish or so, I heard, heard a loud bang outside the house. I went to my backyard and I noticed that a vehicle hit a fire hydrant. When the fire hydrant was hit, the water was shooting up, I don't know, 50 feet, 60 feet. It was really high. And uh, sadly, it took the fire department about 15-20 minutes to get there when they are just a couple of miles away. I documented the whole, um, you know, I didn't document the actually the actual incident that the vehicle hits it. I don't I don't know if, what kind of car it was and how it happened, but after I heard the bang after the accident, I went ahead outside in my backyard with my camcorder and. Uh, documented the whole thing including the fire department I live on top of the hill so I could see the fire department and the incident and I actually documented how long it took for the fire department to come there and I want you guys to see and uh, see what we can do a a as a community to, to come together and make sure that responses to search incidents are faster and uh, to make sure hundreds of thousands of fresh water is not wasted for nothing like it happened here. And this is the second incident that, the, uh, you know, a fire hydrant is being hit and it takes forever to close that. Uh, I, if you look at my previous videos, I have another incident just like half a mile from this one that someone hit the fire hydrant and they couldn't close it. The, the, the valve wasn't working or something. So, see and let me know what you think. So, as you can see, the water is shooting up high in the air um, for like, I don't know, at the height of 50, 60 feet. It's very, very high. And that vehicle with emergency lights, which is parked in uh, the trail entrance of uh, the Lakeview at Highlands Ranch community entrance, um, I believe is uh, involved in this incident. I don't know what kind of car it is because it was night. I couldn't see. Uh, but uh, uh, the fire department is not too far. You see those lights, the bright lights, right above that, uh, in the intersection of uh, 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 Sweetwater Springs Boulevard and Austin Drive. That's where the fire department is, which is you know not even two miles, less than that from the incident and uh, see how many precious minutes are going by without any reply or any action from them by the way as soon as i heard this as soon as i heard the bang i called the fire department i called 911 i mentioned that uh, there was an incident a vehicle hit a fire hydrant the uh, occupants of the vehicle could be injured i don't know i'm looking at it from a distance and I didn't want to go and interfere with the fire department by driving and creating more uh, traffic and more clutter in the area. So I didn't uh, go there and I just document everything, documented everything from a distance. And uh, despite my call, and when I called the 911, they still, uh, they connected me with the, with the fire department and then I sp explained the situation to the fire department. They, they still couldn't come faster. It took uh, a very long time for them to come. Uh, and the water, it, the, the pressure of the water was so high that you could hear the water shooting up in the sky. Let me, let me bring the actual audio from the scene so you could see what's, what, how it sounds. Uh, by the way, I paused the recording for like 10 minutes and, and barely st restarted the recording when I saw the fire truck is coming.
So thank God finally after uh, nearly 20 to 30 minutes of water waste they were able to close the valve and by the way like I said the video is not continuous I stopped recording when I just saw that there is nobody doing anything about it and then I as soon as I heard the fire truck I came back and continued recording so don't judge their you know response to this incident uh, to the same length as the video is. As you can see it took quite a bit of time for them to get to it and once they got to it it took much longer to close the valve when it should be a very quick 
thing. I, I'm sure it's very complicated because they had to remove this plate from underneath the pavement. So they should make it more like accessible to fire department so they can come and just turn the rotate the valve and close it quickly without having to go through all these extra steps which will lead to massive water loss. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you want to see more updates about local events and wildlife, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.